So I'm replacing this slider thing here, which goes on my sliding door, fits in the bottom rail there, and obviously moves along when the door opens and closes. This is knackered in mine. I think this big, this big wheel here has maybe disintegrated or something. I had some ball bearings falling out of it the other day and I can barely even open and close the door. This came in two sizes on eBay. I'm not sure if I've bought the, the correct one. They both said that they were compatible with my vehicle, so I went for the shorter one. I think it refers to the length of this arm here. So what I'm gonna do is try and open this and line them up, see if it looks like it's the right size. So first of all, what we can see here, I mean, apart from the rust and the poor state of this, you can see the wheel has come off just in the middle there. It should be like that. It's clearly come dislodged. The bad news is that's the wrong size. So I'm going to order the larger one and I'll continue this probably in a few days when it arrives. Okay, it's a couple of days later and this is the one I wanted. Um, this is advertised as the long version and that's the short version. So you might just want to check the bracket on your door here, see which one you think um, is right for you. Um, so first of all I've got a jack here, this is going to hold the door up in place, obviously when I remove this this is going to want to fall towards the ground and I'm on my own so I haven't got anyone else to help me hold this up. Second of all, if you look right at the end here, there's like a plate there, that's, um, that's to stop the, the roller from rolling and falling all the way out at the end. So we need to remove this by, well I've got to remove this wooden step but this is unique to this van so you'll probably have um, a plastic step like that you'll have to take off here and then you access the bolts from the top here. something like that. You don't need to do anything with this, uh, just give it a clean up pretty much. And just an interesting thing I've noticed, this has got like a, a sprung mechanism in here that does that and I'm guessing that sits that way so when the door slides out here and hits that it's got kind of a soft impact there. Just a little bit of suspension for the door. Right, so now I've got the door secured by the jack here. That means the weight is taken off this. And I'm going to undo both of these 6mm Allen bolts. I'm going to try to. Okay, and this should just come out now, and uh, that's what we're talking about, look at that. That's probably why I couldn't open my door. So let's get this replaced with this. So if we look closer in here, you can actually see that is pretty rusty, and I think this might be what's caused my problem in the first place. I think the old wheel I was having a little bit of a bumpy ride every time I was opening and closing the door. That might be what's damaged it. So I'm going to do my best to clean this up. I'm going to wire brush it of course, get as much of the rust off as I can. Maybe put a little bit of Rust-Oleum on it and see if I can kill some more rust. And then I'm actually considering putting a bit of lithium grease on this. I know these aren't really supposed to have grease on. They're designed just to roll freely. But I think I might have a little bit of a special circumstance here. So. I'm going to consider putting this on, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. So, as you can see it's looking a lot better, a lot clearer than before. That was actually quite a half-assed rust removal job, please don't take my lead on that. I just haven't really got time to do a proper job of that at the moment, but I've cleaned it up as good as I can and I'm just going to spray a little bit of primer on it. So it certainly looks a lot better, which is making me feel a lot better, but 
in reality the rust is probably going to come back through this pretty fast I need to do quite a comprehensive rust removal job on the whole van actually um, so I am going to address this quite soon anyway so this is just a temp fix and this is not a video on how to remove rust whatsoever so now we've done that I am just going to um, put this all back together the reverse order pretty much of how I took it to pieces um, obviously with the new part there and I'll just show that in time lapse So there we have it, that's done. That took me about five minutes to put uh, back together, it was so easy. And it feels like a brand new door, nice and smooth, so I'm not even going to bother with this lithium grease. Like I said, you're not really supposed to use it for it anyway. And this has turned out a lot better than I thought it would, so no need to bother with that. And that's it, job done. Cheers. <laughs>